Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel. And welcome back to another episode of the Daily Do Our Daily Stardew Valley Let's Play on the channel, where every day in game is a day in real life. Coffee, because we, uh, we're, we're, we're dying inside. So, it's raining today. It's, it's fall. So, we're going to get a lot of rain, hopefully. Uh, a little bit of gusty winds tomorrow. And very happy spirits. So, unfortunately, um, even though we got happy spirits, we did not fully... Can I, can I pet the dog? Pet, pet, pet the dog? No? Alright, fine. <laughs> so even though we had some happy spirits, uh, we're having happy spirits today, we, 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 we didn't do all of our farming that we wanted to do. Um, but we've learned how to get rhubarb pie from Marnie, so that's nice. Oh, and another gift from Marnie. Thank you, Marnie. She couldn't have sent one letter. <laughs> she sent two. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure some stuff out. Still trying to wrap my head around a few things. What we can do here, let's get rid of that. And that is, I'm going to do a, what I'll call a little quick ditch effort to make some money here. So I'm going to blow a few star fruit, which is not, maybe not the best course of action. But, you know, we still have 250. Yeah, 200 and not 40, but 230 left, so we're doing okay with starfruit. Um, we we need to... Oh, nice! I didn't know. That makes sense. I didn't know that if I actually tilled the land while it was raining, it would, it would work like that. That's lovely. So, good. We're going to just continue to hoe, hoe up the land here real quick and put down some basic fertilizer and plant more things. So I was a little disappointed yesterday because we didn't get to plant absolutely everything that we wanted. And at the end of the day, it's fine, but um, it, it, it was mostly because we needed to hoe and then water the land. So really, we need to have those crops down that can be, that die in between. So. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I'm going to use some basic fertilizer. You know, there's still a fair amount of sap left. Still another 300. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just throw down more fertilizer. I'll make a little bit more fertilizer and, and we can just suck it up, basically. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. And use all of the sap, maybe. Or most of the sap. I'll leave myself with like 50 or something. Let's see here. Give me more sap. Where's my sap at? There it is. Yeah, I'll... 81. Sure, sure. And let's build a bunch of this. Okay, so another 122. That's not bad. That isn't exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping for more. But listen, if this is... If this is the worst that I can do, that it's still pretty decent. <laughs> So, really, the idea would be if you were being really efficient about it, you would plant stuff in the spring, you would use fertilizer in the spring, and then that fertilizer would hopefully transfer over. I think some of my fertilizer transferred over. Or maybe it doesn't at all. I don't know. Either way, there we go. We've fertilized this whole thing. Let's go down here and take a little view of this. So we put down... Oh, gosh, I need to re-till the land. This is a real pain. Um, all right, let's fix this up real quick. Yes, yeah, so we put down the new sprinklers. Actually, not these ones. We put down the new sprinklers up there. But we, we put down some... I'm talking about grapes. Because we're trying to grow some grapes so we can make raisins for the little critters there, the Junimos. Because I'm pretty sure there's something where they need grapes. So we've never really produced a lot of grapes. I, I've kind of always viewed stuff on trellises as a pain in the ass because they are. And what we'll do is we'll just do that for now and kind of count that as, as a win there. So we planted cranberries, we planted, planted those. What else do we have? We have eggplants. Eggplants, fairy seeds, and yams. I, I think a row of yams would be go good. A row of artichokes. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's 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 do it this way. So yams, they take ten days. Let's do a let's do a big row with them over here. Big row with the yams, you know. 
all I'm thinking about the whole time I'm doing this is just how do I how do I get things? How do I make a lot of money? Um artichoke. Let's do you know what? Let's do the next two to three rows of artichoke. Because I need to sell 15 of them. And also, I'm probably gonna need some for some recipes. So we'll do that. And then eggplants can be put up above, I'm quite sure. So yeah, there we go. That's nice. So we'll try and remember that I put yams here and and whatnot. Um eggplants and more pumpkins, I'm thinking. More pumpkins could be good. Really just load up this next row with pumpkins. <laughs> we wanna get those um I want to get some big pumpkins this year. I, I haven't had any big fruits yet, so I've been very, very disappointed in that regard. So we'll plant all the way up to that line. I think I bought, did I buy 300 seeds? I think so. So, take 13 days to grow. So really, if you had some extras, you could plant more. So what we'll do now is we will plant, well, a couple rows. Yeah, we can do, screw it, we'll do long rows. Long rows of eggplant. And this for sure will get us where we need to be for the eggplants. Because again, we need to sell 15 of these too. So that is that is that. I think it's less than 22 wide. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Did I miss any? That doesn't look like it. And then we've got the... Yeah. Just an amaranth. I'd really like to plant because I need to sell 15 of that as well so we'll do that I think I missed right here yeah there we go okay so amaranth is planted and then finally we've got our fairy seeds so fairy seeds are another one of those things that we really enjoy we'll plant all those I don't think our animals mess anything up so what I'm gonna do is we're going to take this little buddy. And we're going to take these shitty sprinklers. And we're going to run and plant some fairy rose seeds in with the animals. So that's because there's honey in there. So uh, the honeybees, the fairy rose honey is uh, too good. It's too good. And maybe if we have time, we'll run over to the community center and try and finish it. The second day of fall, already trying to finish this. Oh, you know what? Actually... Well, let's see. Let's see if they do anything about it. Let's see if they get upset about it being in here. Uh, is my inventory... I got enough room to cut down these trees. Let's just cut down these. I hate these trees in here. I thought it would be okay to leave them in here. I have been disappointed by their presence. <laughs> I have not enjoyed their presence. So let's do that real quick. And then I will do that. Jump that and that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go, I think right in the middle here. As I miss, how many are there? Yeah, right here is where I want it. So one right there. And then we put the fairy rose seed. Boom and boom. Hopefully the animals don't go after it. We're just going to also let them sit there. That's, that's the other thing. So, okay, that's good. Let's go... well, I actually don't have the room to visit them. This is what I wanted to do. Okay, I just want to put down the... Right in the middle of the yard. <laughs> Alright, let's empty out our inventory, clear ourselves out, get rid of the stuff we don't need anymore. And honestly, I'm pretty pleased about this. Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah. So there's two rows in there that are going to be unwatered. That's pain in my ass. Shoot. Well, we're going to deal with it for now, I suppose. We'll live with it. I'm going to have to fix that up afterwards. Oh, real pain. I can't believe I did that. I knew two yesterday, and then when I went in today, I, it just completely escaped my mind. Crap. Well, it is what it is. So, yeah, sure. Let's go deal with the animal stuff, which is petting them and getting their goods, and then to the community center, because maybe, just maybe, we're going to finish up today. Okay, so just doing a little sprint here. We have some stuff in our inventory I want to drop off, so we grabbed a little bit of cheese. I'm going to leave the blobfish row in there. Um, that, that's an artisanal good. It can go in there. 
Anything else that I need to kind of empty out? Oh, I'll deal with that. Nothing, nothing else. Oh, the, um, yes, the goat, goat milk. Doesn't really look like I've got goat milk in there. It's unfortunate that the one that I'm putting in is iridium quality, but it is what it is. Let's run over to the, let's run over to the community center and see what we can do. Okay, so the last bundle is this one here. I think, I don't know how many I needed, but I think it was only like two. Ooh, gold bar, that's nice. And there we go, folks, we've done it. it. It's done. After all this time, I don't even want to look. After all this time, we finally finished everything. We finally finished the segment. Oh my goodness. And the last bundle, farewell, McCrouton. There we go, there we go. And we're gonna be out, we're not outside, no? I was expecting to be outside, but we got our little friends here. What's going on, my little buddies? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and there we go, the Junimals have returned to the spirit world. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, to have this finally done, finally complete. Do we get to leave now? Is that it? Ah! Look at the community center, it's so pretty now. And it actually shows the time. So, coming back in here, I can't do anything, eh? Nope. Alright. Well, I will instead depart. And I think overnight, we'll probably have a conversation with somebody about something or other. Uh, somebody gave me 40 copper ores. Do I need to retrieve them? Or do I need to just bring them? I need to collect. Okay, that's alright. So that's fine. Let me just run back home, I suppose. Um, I can grab... Nope, I can't grab. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was a plum there. If I just missed it, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, I will take this, though. One out of 40. Amazing progress. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Give me more path. Oh, that's right. You know something? Oh no, I still have ample wood. Okay, or ample stone. Alrighty then. Alright, so let's make more of those. Oh, and we have a heater because winter is going to come up. That's true. That's true. And then, how much wood do we have? We've got 700 wood, so I could be making some more casks here. Let's do 15 more casks. Did that harm my supply? Honestly, hardly. Let's put it to 25. Or 30, allegedly. You know, we've done, we've done 30 now. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's go down here then. How much are pomegranates worth? Oh. Well, I'm going to sell that, eh? We all know it's going to be sold. So, I'm going to say right now, there's starfruit wine in there. This is the ancient fruit. This is the starfruit. I I know. I know. I, I overdid it. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. It's, it's messy. It's a messy process here on the farm, on the establishment. This is going to also be ancient. Not ancient fruit. This is also going to be starfruit wine. And then we'll load the upper walls as well with starfruit wine. <laughs> Basically, anything that isn't labeled will pretty well just be starfruit wine. So, I suppose I need to even do this as starfruit wine. Now, I'm well aware there are better ways to do this. Oh, wait. No, we're going to do cranberry wine. Never mind. Screw it. This is going to be jumbled mess. What did I put down there? Cheese? Hmm. Screw it. It's all just... It's all just a jumbled mess. I said it was going to be starfruit wine. I lied to you. Like I always do. I'm very good at that. I'm very good at that. I don't tell the truth at all. So that's fine. We're not actually even going to do cheese. <laughs> there you go, folks. Not even doing cheese. So I will sell this. Well, maybe I won't. Let's just put that in there. And just... And walk away. <laughs> we'll walk away from it. It, it. it is what it is. We've done that. We've done the deed there. 
Ah, uh, right, and that's where Starfruit Wine starts to pop up. Okay, you know what? Don't even speak to me. I don't know what goes on here. The game, the game is beating me down. That's what that is. It's beating me down and beating me into submission. So, I miss Penny's birthday. <laughs> oh my goodness, well, it's bedtime. Screw it, it's bedtime. It's time to nap. It's time to sleep. I'm out. I'm off. No, I refuse. So there we go, folks. Uh, listen, we completed the community center. We we did the things we were supposed to do. Tomorrow, I'm sure, will be a day of Mayor Lewis telling us how good we are. But if you did enjoy today's episode, you're enjoying the hecticness of the series, do let me know down below. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did. And for this series, I'll see you tomorrow.